Hey everyone, just waiting for the train right now. I gotta get my PCR test today for a wedding. It is like a nightmare, all the steps that go into leaving the country, but you gotta do it. Your girl's gotta do it. Subway life, it's real. We got the messy, real messy bun going on today. It's like 95 degrees down here in the subway. It's insane. Um, but I'm on my way to get my nose swabbed. Very fun. So many distractions in here. I'm just like, excuse me, you're interrupting my vlogging right now. But uh, we got a busy schedule today, so I'm gonna go get my nasal swabbed, and then I'm um, gonna go look at a potential dress for this wedding, and then I'm uh, gonna run some other errands and take you all with me. Let's go. by so I've literally got to trek it running late per huge um, a little speed walk here but luckily the test is uh, quite quick and painless but it's also a maze to get where they test in this hospital it's, it's humid and hot outside there's just like no point of putting any makeup or anything on today because it's just going to be hot Probably shouldn't have wore light gray either. Gray shows sweat. Not cute. Not a cute look. But uh, hopefully we make it to this appointment on time. We'll see. My glasses are actually starting to fog up a little bit. Goodness. another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we are going to be taking a look at the Air Griffey Max 1s in the Varsity Royal colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. another unboxing and review if you're new here welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions at the end feel free to leave those down below hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that i don't want you to miss out on as well as be sure to check out those membership tiers if you haven't already if you've been wondering how are people in my comment boxes during my lives getting that interesting looking speed limit sign that says shade limit that's one of the membership perks so head on over there 
check it out when you get a chance as well as our merch store. We've got some great Shade Gang gear in there to add to your wardrobe. So be sure to take a minute to see what we have uploaded online. All right, so as mentioned earlier, we are gonna be discussing the Air Griffey Max 1 in the Varsity Royal colorway. This is a great pop of color for the summertime. So I can't wait to get into the overview to talk about how different this is from the fresh waters that I got a little bit ago. We're going to do a comparison on that as well. And then we're going to get into a size and fit followed by how I style these. This is such a great pop of just this lovely Varsity Royal blue color scheme. So definitely had fun playing with those colors. Then we are going to conclude with how these shoes are doing on the resale market. So let's head on over to the overview and get started. Starting with the frontal portion of the shoe, you're gonna notice that we've got a mixture of nubuck and some tumbled leather going on here. So this is definitely smooth for sure on the top of that tongue. I'm like, hmm, yes, it's a little rough actually as well. Uh, but we've got it in that nice Varsity Royal colorway. Then we've got just that nice Nike swoosh logo on the side here. And that's in black with some tumbled leather underneath in the white tone. It's not extremely tumbled. It's kind of like a subtle tumble, I guess you could say. So this shoe actually dropped for the 25th anniversary of Ken Griffey Jr.'s debut of his signature shoe. So definitely dropped as a memorabilia to kind of think back 25 years ago when this shoe came out, which is pretty crazy how time has flown by, uh, but it's been 25 years, pretty insane to think about. Uh, as we work our way up, you're gonna notice we've got hints of this just subtle volt pop of color on the front here as we work our way up again we've got it on the swoosh on that pull tab and then we've got nice simple varsity royal laces atop a neoprene black colored tongue and then the eyelets of course are in that matching varsity royal color scheme as well uh, so let's take a look at those close details So as we work our way to the side panels, I don't want to forget that we have this amazing adjustable side strap here, which really keeps your foot locked in and tight on the side. Got that nice Velcro. We've got the 24 for Griffey's number on the side there with again, a little slight hint of that bolt colorway for the Nike swoosh. Working our way to the inside of the shoe, we've got more of that just pop of Varsity Royal going on. And you can see it all throughout this kind of 3D printed Nike logo. Uh, then we've got, again, more underlays of the white, slightly tumbled leather, which works its way to the back of the heel counter of the shoe. We again have more hints of that volt pop of yellow on the swoosh mark. And as we work our way to the other side, again, similar in the underlays of that white, slightly tumbled leather, and then some nubuck overlays in that Barcy Royal color. Working our way into the inside, we've got just a black insole with a pop again of that volt accented color scheme for the Nike Air. As we work our way down to the midsole of the shoe and the air unit, you'll see that that again is accented quite nicely with the volt color scheme. And then we've just got some white and black additions on there as well. We're gonna finish off the shoe with the outsole in the black uh, Varsi Royal color scheme. And then we've got just hints again of that Volt yellow going on there. So this is just a very fun color for the summertime. So let's take a last look at all those finalized details.
now let's get into size and fit of the silhouette. So I stay true to size. I'm a 7.5 in men's. Again, I do like to wear my shoes on a slightly bigger fit just because I don't like to feel kind of claustrophobic in that toe box region. Uh, so I would recommend staying true to size, especially if you do have similar feet to me. I have high arches and I do have very narrow feet. If you have wide flat feet, obviously that may differentiate what shoe will work best for you. Uh, but on this one, Shade recommends staying true to size. All right, I just found some amazing lighting and I found some great socks. Look at these dope socks. So silver, we have like a white, very dainty. Definitely gonna have to be very gentle when I put my foot into this. Can't be aggressive because who wants to have a tear in the toe region? That's probably my biggest pet peeve, honestly, is having socks with a hole in it. You know when you can feel your toe poking you through? Feel child no when i was a child i just i couldn't handle it i keep every sock it doesn't matter every sock <laughs> my dog's got five holes in it he's literally, like literally with the, what's I, up this sock over here has a hole in it when i saw it this morning i said dude we're just gonna like yeah. remove it you know i just push it up a little bit and still you know i just can't waste a sock i love socks unless it has some really really bad i'm keeping the sock I'm gonna be gentle with these ones. <laughs> no hose in these. No, these are so cute. No, they're so yeah. cute. They would actually go cute with these shoes, too. They look really good with my shoes. She's so hot stuff. right now. I'm like dying. All right. right. We're gonna continue on this journey because we need to find the perfect dress for this wedding. But it's cool. You just have to figure out, too, probably something to go underneath it. I, I just really enjoy the drink. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. I love these. Yeah, me too, me too. Rusi, I don't know you, you guys know Rusi, but Rusi, she put that on his so cool. It's so cool. So good. All the tribulations of shopping. The only one of its kind, it just, sometimes people beat you to the punch, but that's okay. We're still gonna find a sexy something. It's gonna happen. Let's continue yeah. on this journey. I've got the skinniest legs though. But that's what little denim will do, right? It's, yeah. They're then so I'm, comfy. Then I'm in a good sock thing, like, if you have a good sock with it. Right. Oh, 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 add some weight to your leg. Oh. Yeah. That's beautiful. Hair tie? It's like a headband. Oh, that's a headband. Mm -hmm. I was like, is this a tie? <laughs> I would try it. <laughs> Go on. Probably pop out and slip out. <laughs> I was like shooting for this company the other week, and he was like, you're. I was like, oh, my nipple's out? My bad. <laughs> Just say that. My nipple's Oh, it is, because I think it's a size four. You know, it's the size like one through four. What's that? With my favorite designer in my element. I did see this dress, which I thought was kind of cool, but I think it's, is this actually a size one? Oh, this is a one. Cool. I should just try it on just because. Yeah. Maybe it'll be the sexy dress that we're looking for. Mm. <sighs> Problem is, we're going to the Caribbean in the heat. <sighs> I kind of just want to be naked in that watermelon tub. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I show up in just the watermelon tub. <laughs> Birkenstock, but nah. <laughs> Say it again. Birkenstock, but nah. From the back side. Good dog. Good wrong. <laughs> Unless the hug is always changing up on us. You think it's a bank t-shirt, but it's not. You thought it was just a gummy bear, it's not. It's not. Actually. Not at all. <laughs> I know, he's coming, I know. I'm about to eat it, but... But I'm not. I'm not. I'm just gonna put it in my ear. These are fun. Like little swirls. You guys didn't get the locks, did you? Or those just sold out? No, we didn't get the locks. All right, now let's jump into styling. Had so much fun playing with this RC Royal color scheme. 
RC Royal is honestly like one of my favorite colors to wear when we transition into the warmer season. So I was excited to be able to grab a pair of these to unbox and show you styling cues on how to style this. For the first look, I really wanted to go all out with just a full on royal blue kind of look. So I paired this with a nice summery dress in the same kind of blue hues, just because I really wanted to go matchy matchy with this look. And I think it really pulled cues from that RC Royal color scheme quite nicely. second look I decided again to bring some more of the varsity royal blue color scheme into my look by pairing that with just a royal blue denim jacket uh, but I didn't want to go all in with the denim jacket so I decided to actually change it up with some blue hues and a blue floral skirt uh, I think that this shoe also can be paired with lots of different blue color schemes and I think that that kind of powder blue works great as well. For the last and final look, I decided to wear more kind of neon-y colors. This time I wanted to pull from that Volt colorway as well. So I wore a Lueve button-down shirt and it's got all these crazy prints on it, crazy color schemes, but I really wanted to go bright and vibrant with this look so I could pull from that Volt color scheme that we see slightly accented throughout the shoe. I then paired that with just some simple gray shorts. I think gray is a great combo for this. Even but if you want to wear gray sweats, I think they would go great with this as well. are the three looks that I went with for this this specific color scheme. So you all let me know what was your favorite look out of the three down below. Also, how would you style these?
All right, now let's head on over to the resale and talk about how these shoes are doing currently on the market if you were unable to cop these when they did release. So these actually retail for $170 and currently they're going from 180 to 205 depending on what your size is. So if you were unable to get these, that is not a crazy price point for paying over the retail value. So definitely a great opportunity to buy these now. I do know the Freshwaters are doing a little bit better, but as you can see, the color scheme on this is very OG and very reminiscent of the Mariners colorway. This color is not in a sense as memorable to the Mariners as this color scheme is. Uh, but I do think that this is just a nice twist and variation on the shoe as we get into the hotter summery days where you kind of want to wear pops of color. All right, that's it for this unboxing and review. If this was your first time joining us, thanks so much for tuning into the channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you have any comments or questions, even about sizing on this shoe, be sure to leave those down below. We have so much heat. My goodness, I this shoe needed to go out a while ago, uh, but we've been backed up. So I'm just happy to have this out uh, to you all, but definitely hit that notification bell because we do have lots of content coming out and I don't want you to miss out on it, as well as check out those membership tiers. We've got some great perks on there for our members that you're not gonna wanna miss out on, as well as the great, great shade store. We got so many shade items on there. If you wanna rock a nice, cute, sexy tank for the summer, you definitely are gonna have to head over to that store and check it out now, or even a nice tea as we get into these warmer months with some you know, shade on it. So definitely head over there, check out those items, and also, just a little reminder, I will be giving away some Yeezy slides. So definitely make sure that you are following the channel and all my Instagram platforms in order to win those slides. So I'll definitely be putting out some more details on how we are going to be giving those away as well as some other Supreme items. So stay tuned for that. All right. That's it for this episode. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We will catch you all on the next one.